All right, guys. Well, first off, hey, I, I want to say happy birthday to Conrad Martinez. I should have got him in that game. I didn't. We had a lot going on there at the end, and, uh, you know, it just wasn't communicated to me that, you know, I mean, I was just trying to get through the game, and it's his birthday today, and he's awesome. I watched him work out today, and he played his ass off. So, uh, so he's really coming along, and he deserved that opportunity, and, uh, you know, I'm disappointed in myself that I wasn't able to – to give him a reward, but you know, um, he's a tough kid, and you know he's got real minutes coming coming in the future. So I can't wait for him to get out there for us. Um, all right, I'll take some questions. When you uh, brought Tella and Umar here, did you see them as the kind of guys that had the capability to get to a thousand? Well, they're good. This, the thousand point thing for me, guys, is like for one, just real simple. I'm not a big birthday guy. You know, like, like it's, I'm sorry. I mean, it's the other day. And I'm, I'm not a big milestone guy with basketball. Like, like, I just don't think you play for those things. And, and you know, I'm really proud of those guys for getting it. But, listen, they both, um, whether they have 999 points or 1,001, are really good players, and they're great guys. And I love having them here. And, you know, I mean, you know, I thought about it a couple of days ago. You almost get emotional. You know, like, you know, Pella took a chance on me. He did. I mean, I hadn't won a game, hadn't coached a game. And he was getting recruited by, you know, Kansas and, and us and you know and it was a battle and, and he he put faith in us and he came here and, and, and we're lucky. Well, I mean Arizona's lucky and I'm lucky that he did and and oh you know I mean he was obviously going through some tough times he and I were together and and for him to be able to flip it like this I don't think anybody three years ago would have said you know Umar Ballo would score a thousand points because he I mean at Gonzaga I don't know how many he didn't score many 60. So, so 940 points at Arizona, and, you know, it ain't easy to score 1,000 points in your career in college, and he's going to do it in three years. So it's pretty special. So I'm, I'm, I'm really, really, really proud of him, and he's a great guy, and, and he's, a, he's a force. You guys have built such strong roles for you on this team, all five starters and double figures tonight. What does that speak to your balance? Well, you know, we, we want to play balanced basketball. I mean, I was, I was proud of Caleb tonight. You know, Caleb, as we know, I mean, he can get hot. And, you know, he got on a heater for a minute, and then I just told him, hey, take a breath. You know, like you, you, you kind of got us a little separation now. Let us bring it home. And, you know, you know, you know, 23 is good enough. And I told him going into the last game, hey, I'll take 15 points in great defense. You know, and, and he's really growing in that. And he's, uh, you know, he's a game changer. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for that. But the, the balance is something we strive for. You know, we don't, we don't really tilt our offense in one direction for any one player. Um, we want to make great decisions to play great team basketball, and and we have talented players, so they can do some stuff on their own when they get the opportunity. And and our bench has been really great. I mean, those three guys have been steady off the bench for us. They really are changing the game, and it might not be scoring and, and stuff like that, but they're really getting in the game. And you know, KJ and JB were in there. When we made a run in the first half. I mean, you know, Jaden, you know, plus minus can be a interesting stat if you're really dissected. But man, he he comes out on the high side of it a lot. So for somebody you know that doesn't like score a lot of points, you know, so so. You know, that's something we got to we gotta really drill down on. And, and I feel really comfortable with him out on the floor. And, uh, and you know, and, and, and Crevis is coming on. Obviously had a great game last game. And, you know, today he didn't play as good. But I, I think when he goes back and watches the film, he's going to see, you know, he didn't double down on some of the habits we worked on and tried to establish last game. And he got a little sloppy with some of his post-ups today. So there's room to grow. Tishad uh, had 10 points pretty quickly. Did you notice him just looking extra aggressive? You know, uh, you know, which is so cool for Key. I mean, you know, Key was a guy, you know, who came here and, you know, and we, we were told great kid, plays hard, winner, ultimate team guy, which he is all those things. But, you know, may, maybe a little bit limited offensively. And for him to score 20 points quietly – it's pretty special, and you know, he gets a couple threes early in the game, and gets a couple baskets, and 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 I and I just still see room to grow in there. I mean, I think you know he and I are going to talk. We talked, you know, during the game and after, you know, just on, on some ideas we can continue to help him get better and find more opportunities. But uh, he's turning; he's a really good basketball player, and to score twenty in a Pac-12, a meaningful Pac-12 game, I mean, I mean, shows how far he's come. Can you talk about the defense in the second half? They shot thirty-eight percent. So it's yeah, I mean, we you know, hey, they, man, they 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 are, they're something to guard. You know, they're they're smart, they're calculated. Um, they have some matchups that make you make decisions. I mean, um, you know, you know, fifty-five. I mean, he is a a, a heck of a player, and uh, and you know, he he may, he puts you in situations where you like, you know, like you can really guard him well, and he still makes it. You know, which which can which can be tough. 
and our, I thought our guys did a good job kind of handling that. And um, and then, you know, we kind of got a little bit of a lead on them, made a little run, and then they kind of maybe tilted their offense to kind of go more perimeter and, and kind of, you know, just a lot more pitch and catch stuff we would call. And I thought our guys did a good job adjusting. They even played, you know, Carlson at the five, you know, uh, and which, you know, we had O out there, so we had to kind of – we lived with a couple of threes at first, and then we switched to a switching defense, and uh, and and that was able to kind of get us over the top. These past two games, I think 120 points allowed after 100 in the previous. Is this more what you're expecting compared? Oh, it better sure. be. I mean, it better be. I mean, we're not trying to give up 100. I mean, that ain't a winning formula. We need to be a great defensive team, and and we're gonna. I can't wait for this week of practice. You know, we do need a little rest. We've been on a gauntlet. I mean, I, I, Christmas ended up not being a rest for us. You know, we have not had a break. And, you know, we, we played a really tough schedule right into the road in Pac-12. I think it caught up to us a little bit against a good Stanford team. Coming back home was great. But it, we need a week where we can just take a breath, have a couple of days off, and really focus on ourselves. And so I, I'm excited to get back to work this week. And, and obviously being a great defensive team is going to be number one on the agenda. Carlson had seven points on three of ten shooting. How did you kind of contain him? We, well, you know, I mean, we, we tried some different coverages on him and, you know, tried some different coverages and, you know, maybe switched a few things. Normally we wouldn't, and uh, we just wanted to see how they would react to it and, and maybe take away some of his easy stuff, you know, um, like some of those pick and pops, you know, and he, but he, he's a good player, you know, and, and you know, I, I, I just know this, that I have a feeling those threes are going to go in when we play at Utah. So, you know, we, we, we got we to stay locked in on him. And he just – he presents a lot of challenges because he scores inside, he scores outside. Um, and, you know, he really make he forces you to kind of dig deep into your defensive arsenal and make some decisions. Kyle, Kyle had six assists. Um, he had another highlight pass for an assist tonight. Um, how do you assess his progression as a facilitator of the offense? He's getting there. He's getting there. You know, I mean, he had the one at the end over the top to O, and I didn't realize he was trying to get O his thousandth point. I didn't like it because, you know, we were, you know, five some minutes to go. Let's run a little clock, you know, unless we have something easy. Um, but but he's, he's, he's coming along. He's coming along. And, you know, I think, you know, he, he hit the roll on a tough one today. And uh, when they kind of out of a timeout, they really kind of like, you know, hedged or trapped a ball screen. And he dealt with that, a surprise attack a little bit and dealt with it. So he's coming along. But, but you know, there, there's, there's room to grow there for him as well. But, but, I, but I definitely think he's, he's getting the repetition that he needs and he's right there. Think about that passing through the other night to, to the pillow across the I mean, it's crazy. I mean, like, I mean, thank God he completed it. Yeah, we've never worked on a double left-handed bounce pass from 70 feet, and we never will. So. Well, I think you're, I mean, generally you're approaching the, the, uh, the mid-season, the, the middle of the regular season anyway. Uh, you know, what do you think in general about where you guys are at at this point? Well, I mean, I, I, I love – Love this team. I love where we're at, but you know, like anybody else, we're scratching and clawing to have a great season. You know, we we gotta keep, we gotta we gotta stay on point. We gotta keep our guard up. We gotta keep a chip on our shoulder, and you know, we we gotta keep we gotta keep fighting for success. And and so, I like where we're at. You know, and and uh, I'm excited to see where we go. Someone that puts his body on the line and tries to take charges. He's been kind of getting. Uh, more blocks called on him lately. Well, this is the rest of the rule change. That's not him. I mean, last year those were all charges, but the rules changed, which is fine. I have no problem with the with the the change of rule they made on the charge. So it's just a little harder to draw charges now than it used to be, especially if you're a secondary defender, which he was really good at before. What do you think he can do? Well, he's got a, He's already adjusted. You know, he he fouled out of the Michigan State game because I think he tried taking three charges. You know, and I just told him, you got you're too smart, you're too good of a player, you got to adjust. So, whether you vertical contest or you you know you you avoid the charge block situation, you know, you know you got to do it. I mean, you could take charges on the ball as a primary defender. He's still kind of the same, but the secondary defender, it's really hard when you're rotating over. So, um, you just you just probably got to you know figure out another another. An alternative instead of taking the hit and put it in the ref's hands. Thanks, coach. Thank you, guys.